Hello, Internet. It is 8.32 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday night, May the 2nd, 2020. And we are live on Twitch as we continue on with this Super Art Fights Never Ending Off Season. That's right. SAF Neo is live. Episode 2 coming at you right here tonight. Really exciting. Really happy to be here. Uh, two weeks ago, we kicked things off with Super Art Fight Neo and... Uh, well, clearly something worked, because apparently we're now Twitch affiliates. I don't know what that means beyond the fact that I can say this. Ninja, we're coming for you. That's what's going to happen. That's all I know about Twitch. There's Ninja and there's Fortnite. That's all I've really got. But fact is, folks, we've brought Super Art Fight to the digital world. We can't do live shows, clearly. So we had to bring it here. We had a, a nice little appetizer to this show earlier today. If you joined us as a part of Awesome Con Online, we were streamed live on Facebook earlier today. But the real deal is happening here tonight on Twitch. And to join me, as always, to kick off this program, my dear friend, Ross Nover. Ross, how's it going, bud? Uh, it's going great, Marty. Uh, things are fantastic here in the DC annex of Super Art Fight. Uh, we are, you know, hunkered down, hunkered in, hunkered up, and uh, really ready to see some Art Fight action. It's been pro it's been two weeks since since we did some proper art fighting, and I am, I am itching to see our artists go toe-to-toe. Toe-to-toe, face-to-face. Digital implement to digital implement. By the way, folks, I, I, I will say uh, I am keeping a, a, an eye slightly focused on chat. Yes, I know Ninja left Twitch a while ago. I just figured that's the only person who I could call out. That's all it really boiled down to. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a great time. And we've added some additional bells and whistles. You can already see we switched up how... Uh, Super Art Fight Neo looks. It looks a little bit different on your computer screen. You're going to see some changes, things that, and, and what have you there. Uh, but also, we have some of the Super Art Fight roster and Super Art Fight staff actually in the chat with you. Our referee, Adam, is actually acting as Super Art Fight in the chat. So uh, he'll be chiming in throughout and then sort of uh, throughout bouts, between bouts, that sort of thing. We'll be checking in with him to see what you guys are saying in the chat. So me and Rots don't have to watch it the full time. But also, of course, our social media monkey, Carlos, the Los is in there as well. So uh, it, it, it's a whole super art fight family experience, just like you would have at a live show, albeit now in this digital realm. Now, uh, Ross, we've got three bouts tonight, three bouts of super art fight action. It's a packed card. It's an incredible mixture of talent. But for the folks who are brand new to Super Art Fight, do you want to explain to them what's going to happen here on Twitch tonight? It would be my absolute pleasure, Marty. So what you all are about to see here is our patented, copyrighted, trademarked form of epic live action entertainment. So what you are about to see in each bout, we're going to have two artists. They're going to be working on the same canvas at the same time. They'll have 20 minutes to cover this can with, canvas with artwork. And then you, the audience, is going to be choosing the winner of the match based on not your level of applause like we would do at a live show. But instead, we're going to be throwing up a straw poll. And you'll have a couple minutes to choose the winner online and live. And we have three bouts, as we said tonight. But we like to keep things interesting, which is why we have a thing we like to call the Wheel of Death. The Wheel of Death is full of topics submitted by our audience, you, on our website, superartfight.com. They've all been submitted ahead of time for this show, so catch us next time. But <laughs> full, of, <laughs> full of topics that uh, we cannot wait to work into the canvas. So every five minutes, the artists have to work in whatever comes up on the Wheel of Death into the artwork somewhere somehow. And because they're working on the same canvas, that artwork gets collaborative and combative at the very same time. It's ridiculous, it's a lot of fun, uh, and it is some amazing talent from some fantastic artists. More, But really, the best way to understand it is always by seeing one in action. Mark. Yes, yes indeed, Ross. 20 minute contests today, and really the best way is to kick things off with our opening bout. So your opening contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And I'd like to bring to the digital stage first. She is a former super art fight champion, 
a former super hard fight tag team champion, renowned in Canada for her skills with dogs. And she is the nicest member of the super hard fight roster. Put your hands together or at least say nice things in the chat for Red Aaron. Hi, Internet. Hi. Hello. Um, Aaron, before we get started, is there anything you'd like to apologize for? Uh, yes, it turns out that I'm as nervous on this digital format as I am in normal time, so that's exciting, and we're still going to do a good job. Okay. All right, well, my understanding... Not and, acting. Yes, <laughs> my, my understanding, and, and if I'm wrong, Red Aaron, this is your first time facing this opponent, is that correct? That might be correct. Okay, well, let's bring them out. She is the life of the party and unfortunately not able to go to any of her scheduled concerts, events, festivals, conventions, what have you. So she's going to bring all that party right here to Twitch tonight. She took it to Baron Von Sexyful. She's uh, earlier today at Awesome Con. She's done amazing things on the Art Fight Canvas. Let's see how she does in the digital realm tonight. This is Rave Royale. Hey everyone, how you doing? Thanks for rubbing in that I can't leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanted to say you had all this sort of uh, pent up aggression, th this this excitement and rage that you wanted to take out on the canvas tonight. Oh yeah, and it all went to my makeup right beforehand. Oh I, boy, I, I, uh, back. Go ahead. Yeah, Rave, quick logistical question for you. Um, which takes more time, putting on the entire Rave Royale getup or getting taking off the Rave Royale getup? Oh, getting into it, definitely. I am super lazy when it comes to removing everything. <laughs> Instant shower, reason. just get it off. I I can only imagine what laundry day at Rave Royale's palace what looks like. A lot of glitter, a lot of glitter. Okay, okay. Well, uh, Rave Royale, I, I, like I said earlier, I believe this is your first time facing off with Red Aaron. Anything you would like to say to your opponent before this match kicks off? You're absolutely precious. That's all I have to say. I can't say anything mean. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm so happy. Well, this is uh, a real grudge match, Marty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this is clearly uh, not going as rage filled as we would hope for an art fight, but it is what it is. We will deal. And uh, all super art fight contests start with a starting topic. And uh, all the starting topics today are set to settle some longtime rivalries at the breakfast table, as each <laughs> starting topic is a beloved breakfast item. So for our opening contest, Red Aaron, what will you be drawing with? I have been informed that I am drawing pancakes. Pancakes. Fantastic. Pancakes. And Rave Royale, what you got, bud? I am drawing Pancakes Hot Big Sister, the waffle. All right, yeah. Pancakes v. Waffles, 20 minute contest. We're gonna start this way we start all of them. We're gonna ask the artists if they're ready, they're going to cheer. We're gonna ask you, the audience, if you're ready and you will presumably cheer in your house or just go crazy with emotes in the chat, we'll see. And then we'll count down together, three, two, one, art fight. So, artists, are you ready? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> audience, are you ready? All right, here we go. Three, Three two, 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 one. one. Art fight! fight! All right, so on the left-hand side, well, what are we saying? It's a digital canvas and nothing matters. Uh, <laughs> somewhere on the canvas is both pancakes in red. Oh, I guess that is on the left-hand side from Red Aaron. And meanwhile, Rave Royale working I apologize. in my, uh, my can't My pencil is being weird again. I am so oh, sorry. Oh, no. Yep. Technical. Oh, and Red Aaron has sabotaged her opponent's pen. Oh, it's not working. Oh, already, is Red Aaron so is off to an true. epic start. No, stop! You're too sweet. That's not that. Look, folks, uh, it is it is a live show, and things can go terribly awry early on, and and that's what's happening right now. As the seconds tick by, Red Aaron basically getting to just kind of run the board here with yeah, her pancake person. Should I? Should we? 
Give me a sec, sorry. I'm trying. Let's 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 give her a second. Uh, meanwhile, so sorry. We'll we'll keep the clock running. <laughs> uh, We'll, we'll check in with our referee, Adam, on uh, what, what we think should happen here. Adam, any thoughts? You've read the Art Fight rulebook. Well, based on uh, Article 3, Section 13, I would say that uh, if this was done maliciously, that it would, uh, would warrant someone being disqualified or at least put on timeout. However... I'm looking into it right now. It doesn't seem malicious. So as far as I'm concerned at the moment, looks like Red Aaron has a little bit of a uh, head start. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Getting some nice pet strokes in. Feeling good, folks. Adam, can we get a final ruling on that? Confirmed. Moving forward. Okay. All right. We're going to move forward. We're going to roll with the punches. So Rave Royale is a little time to make up here. Yeah. And you know that's that's some of the bumps that you get into when, um, well, when you wear that much metal around a computer. <laughs> yeah, yes, indeed. But those waffles are coming in Vin Diesel style, Ross, fast and furious. They're coming that's in right. right there, and and uh, I believe we're not just seeing basically, uh, as I like to call them, the the syrup holes of the waffle. We're yeah, actually yeah, seeing waffles some are teeth. pancakes for OCD people. <laughs> Very, very true. But we are seeing some very vicious teeth in the center of the waffle. Uh, Super Art Fight top tip, folks. If you find teeth in your waffles, send them back. Yeah, but also, if you find pancakes in your waffles, maybe maybe just go with it. Um, uh, and, okay, so over on the left-hand side, yeah. we've got the, the most adorable pancakes I think I've ever seen. Um, they're doing kind of like a ballet leap while also... <laughs> Holding a small yep. short sword, um, well, well, uh, <laughs> it's like a, it's like Peter Pancakes. Yes, Dang. yes. There you go. There you go. I was gonna say out there, Peter Pancake right there. Really, the only way that it could have uh, gone over better is uh, is if she added the little invisible uh, lines to indicate that they were flying in the sky like Sandy Duncan in, in the old VHS I had as a kid. Which, again, may date me, but I'm okay with it. Uh, And over on the right-hand side, we have basically uh, the most frightening goo-covered waffle I've seen. Yeah, that's the ecto-cooler of waffles, Marty. (laughs) Should we name it just for the sake of uh, commentary? Just to have a name to work with? Well, we've got Peter Pancakes on the left, so would that be Wally Waffle on the right? Wally Waffle, let's go with that. Okay, so while... You know, uh, he didn't have to have his last name be Waffle. He could have picked any last name, (laughs) but you went Waffle, you know, like, all right, great, cool. Just label him by by his uh, ethnicity. I understand. And and we are getting the strings on the top left, but also on the left, we are seeing the first offensive maneuver coming from the pen of Rave Royale, as it appears some tendrils are attacking Peter Pancakes on the left. Yeah, it appears so. And just to make sure this is clear and call it out, uh, any we have color-coded our artists. So anytime you see green drawn on the canvas, you know that it is Ray Royale's doing. And the same for red for Red Aaron. We kept that nice and clear. <laughs> and red and Ray Royale even matching her ink color to her hair. Nice to uh, have that nice and coordinated. Ten seconds uh, to the and, spinning oh, of the wheel it of death. That there is some kind of baker. Who is just three, two? Oh wait, here comes one, the wheel of death. Two We're brand new the wheel topics of death right now for both artists. And Red Aaron gets life metal, not which death is, metal. I assume but has life something metal. to do with life metal. exactly. Uh, and now we get also for Ray Royale magical grannies. Marty, magical uh, what's grannies. what's that? Uh, uh, what Red Aaron drew attacking the waffle? Uh, what do you see going on there? <laughs> Can I, I, can I help? Yeah, yeah, please, Red Aaron. Yes, Red Aaron, explain so, yourself. <laughs> so this is um, um, Uncle Buck <laughs> with his huge pancake. I pattern. believe it. No, That's you know, there's Uncle not Buck? Uncle Buck references in this in uh, 2020. 
Yeah, Uncle Buck it. looks like Madeline's nun. That's what's going on on the right hand side. You know, I here. didn't recognize him without his quintessential uh, wool fedora, uh, <laughs> right, a power right. drill, and a cigar sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> and of course, the face of John Candy. No, I kind of get that that's John Candy. Oh, uh, there we <laughs> there go. There we go. Definitely Uncle, Uncle Buck. There now. we are. But Ray Real coming in on the right hand side, turning what started as that giant spatula into what appears to be just uh, uh, sort of a fairy princess style wand. Is that what's happening there? Basically blessing the waffle on the right hand side. Well, I got magical grannies. That's true. That's true. Okay, so Uncle Buck gang turned into a magical granny. By the way, a quick search of uh, Redbubble reveals that you can, in fact, buy lots of Uncle Buck merchandise in 2020, <laughs> which I'm comforted by personally. Marty, you know, how much Uncle Buck merchandise do you own? Uh, I don't own any, but if there's some Camp Candy merchandise while we're talking about John Candy things, I would gladly take some uh, Camp Candy merch, if at all possible. Uh, and yeah. our life medal now coming in on the left, basically kind of looking like uh, a Trigun character in so much it has a sword for a head and then just random body parts. <laughs> okay, so, so we have some kind of sword in a jacket. Well, you know, otherwise it'd get cold. Um, I, I like to call it a sheath with sleeves. <laughs> I enjoy that it's glowing with life. <laughs> it's, it looks like it's going to welcome me to a cult. I'm yes. not going to lie. Yes. This might it looks be, like it. It is. It is, ahead, this, is definitely, this is definitely a cult um, of life. Oh, okay. So oh, Red Aaron is, is indoctrinating us into a cult. <laughs> Is that on the TOS of Twitch that you can't indoctrinate people in, in cults? Oh, good. Now it's a sword with wings. <laughs> and it has the small dagger following it around. <laughs> oh, well, the magical grannies continue to be added by Rave Royale. We are seeing Rave Royale just basically start to run the table with Red Aaron's topics. I mean, you, you just yeah. look around. Turning, and yeah, yeah, what started as the high priest of the life metal into into a magical granny and or the tooth fairy i i like it and uh as i've seen some people say in the chat they do also kind of look like sticks of butter and coats yeah i definitely got sticks of butter vibes there <laughs> um we are about yes uh red Aaron. <laughs> they're 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 like bars of gold <laughs> ah oh, okay bars of gold okay of yeah. course yeah <laughs> Uh, okay, understand. so we're about halfway through the match. And Courage um, a Cowardly Dog now appearing in the lower right. Yeah, from the pen of Rave Royale, we've got Courage the Cowardly do Dog there in the bottom right. Uh, getting, getting... Ross, did we lose you, bud? Oh, no. I think we lost Ross. Ooh. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, we were going to throw it to Adam, see how things are going on in the chat. Uh, Adam, how you doing over there, bud? Just wonderful. Thank you very much. We have we have a bunch of new followers that have, have uh, followed us on Twitch, so we want to extend a uh, very heartfelt thank you to Buff McGruff, Hammered Healer, uh, BD, RZF, The Foul One, No Name User 20, and Mac Daddy Carthy. Thank you guys so, so, so much. The Foul One, uh, thank you so much for the uh, subscription. And Shoujo a go go gifting a uh, prime sub or a sub to the Los. Uh, thank you so much. We, we appreciate you. You are one of one of our own and uh, you're the best. Uh, a, a couple of uh, random comments came up in the chat. I found pretty funny that the waffle is an, e an ego maniac. Amazing. I love you. I, I, I love it, but I got to jump in because we are going to spin Please. that wheel of death. Two brand new topics coming in. As the wheel spins, let's see what happens here. Red Erin, she gets Grandma Gargoyles as it turns into a very old ladies themed canvas. And a robot parade goes to Rave Royale. Respins available for both artists. And also, just to update everyone, both those of us on the show and uh, those of us watching the show, uh, I've received a text from Ross that indicated to me that his Zoom crashed, which is why we lost him. Uh, and then I quote, 
shit, 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 shit. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, uh, I guess I'm I'm running this thing solo. So uh, for many of you, this could either be your best dream or your worst nightmare. Uh, so uh, taking a look at what we got on the canvas, Grandma Gargoyles uh, for Red Aaron. Uh, it looks on the left more like you were drawing uh, Maya Hawk in Stranger Things, but I see how it is getting turned into a granny. <laughs> Very nice. And our robot parade on the right-hand side from Brave Royale, uh, that turns out to be Bender Bending Rodriguez, ladies and gentlemen. Bender Bending Rodriguez. And I just received another text. Ross saying he's back. Ross, are you with us? Yeah, you can't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here for years. Anyway, uh, what? catch me up, Marty. Uh, well, uh, we've got Bender Bending Rodriguez on the right-hand side. Uh, coming in with the robot parade for Rave Rail on the left. Grandma Gargoyles coming in uh, as we've got Red Aaron illustrating that. We've got some new uh, topics there on the canvas as uh, we are also seeing an adorable tiny robot with a flag right in the center of the canvas from Rave Royale. Eight minutes, seven seconds to go with the final spin of the Wheel of Death coming in at the five minute mark. Awesome. Uh, now seems as good a time as any to mention that uh, if more people support us on Patreon, I might be able to afford a better internet connection. <laughs> so be sure to go over to our Patreon page, <laughs> patreon.com slash superartfight, and help support all of us to keep bringing you this amazing content. Uh, coming into the stream, we've got 23 patrons. I would love to see us hit 30 by the end of tonight. Well, you know what, Ross? However people want to support us, whether it is through subscriptions here, it's through subscriptions of our Patreon, it's through bits, it's through buying merch, or just sharing the link out there to your friends, to your enemies, whatever you want to do, share it wide and share it to everybody because we want to just keep building this up. And again, if you are watching live and you want to post on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, or what have you, hashtag SAFNEO is what you want to use to follow this. So, um, Ross, we've got one final spin coming in at the five minute mark, and it looks like in the center of the canvas, what was uh, a chibi robo esque robot now being turned into a grandma gargoyle from the pen of this, Red Aaron. This is a very granny heavy canvas, Marty. <laughs> yes, yes. Send this straight to AARP. Yeah, this, this can't, and we already had candy drawn on it, which also feels very granny appropriate. Only if they're individually wrapped butterscotches, Ross. You know, I think Uncle Buck is basically an individually wrapped butterscotch, if you think about it. <laughs> I would love to give you the time to break that down. In fact, we got a minute and 20 seconds. Enlighten me. <laughs> well, you know, hard exterior, first mm -hmm. off, mm -hmm. but sweet on the inside. Well, I like Aww. it. I, I, yeah, I like it. There you go. I like it very much. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, respins are available for each artist in these bouts for those joining us for the first time. So uh, if they get a topic right here at the end that they don't like, they can ask for a respin. Uh, but uh, we'll have to see if that comes up. Not a lot of space available, which will be interesting uh, with this last topic coming in as Bender Bending Rodriguez on the right hand side now getting a beautiful nose from the pen of Red Eric. Yeah, you know, uh, I gotta say, Bender with a with a human nose really just gives him a whole other vibe. <laughs> I, I believe it's Red Aaron trying to turn him o into a grandma gargoyle, but he's got full on Easter Island head vibes. <laughs> yeah, honestly, um, I look at that face and I just start to see. Uh, don't ask me why, but like Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Well, the final spin of the Wheel of Death is coming at us right now. So five, three, oh, two, one. Let's see what we got. Final topics. Respins both in play. Gritty Hanna-Barbera for Red Aaron and Rave Royale. Great news. I am a French fry. I'm here now, for the real question, What sort of interpretation for Gritty Hanna-Barbera uh, Red Aaron decides to go for. Now, something we like to keep in mind when we're editing down the list of Wheel of Topics is, 
is that topic going to be extremely clear with, with that what the artist would draw or is that is it open to interpretation and we're always looking for ones that can be open to interpretation and gritty Her hanna barbera is a great example you know it could be a gritty version of a hanna barbera character it could be gritty our 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 lo lord and savior and uh hero of the proletariat um drawn as a hanna barbera character or really anything else you could think of along those lines so, you know, we'll see how Red Aaron decides to interpret that. Meanwhile, I'm a French fry. I mean, hey, there's a lot of types of fries out there. Yeah, and it looks like the French fry in the lower left is just a super cool guy. That's pretty much what we got. Yeah, that is some cool fries. Those are some fry guys, Marty. Yes. I know you're a fan. Very much so, Ross. But if there's anything I truly love, it is the Grimace because it cannot be stopped and it cannot be killed. Uh, and in it was last top... seen leaving to Black Betty by Ram Jam. <laughs> in the top center, right by that superartfight.com logo, uh, it started as, uh, I, honestly, I can't even remember what it started as. I believe it was from the pen of Ray Real, but now we've got Red Aaron drawing her gritty Hanna Barbera. Is this a version of Scooby Doo, Red Aaron? <laughs> yes. Oh, God, why? <laughs> yeah, that is that is a Scooby Don't right there. Yeah, yeah. And, and that Ray, is the Christopher Nolan reboot of Scooby Doo. Uh, Rave Royale, uh, some people in the chat are asking if you drew the French fries, flipping people off or giving a thumbs up. Which one is it there in the lower left? Is this kid friendly? Uh, <laughs> PG 13. I think you're about to answer that question. Yeah. I'm a colorful person and I have colorful language. So yes, the French fries are flipping off. Yeah, that, that, that fry is asking you to read between the lines. And if you can't hear it, he'll turn the volume up. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a rad dude. Yes, rad dude with a lot of dude with two and a half minutes remaining. Oh man, can we put cool fry on a shirt for no reason? <laughs> Ross? We put ducks on a shirt for no reason. And we it could, sold. <laughs> yeah, we could put cool fries on a shirt for no reason. Cool fry, colon, rad dude with a lot of two. Uh, down in the lower left, uh, Red Aaron, is that Captain Caveman? Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, ca I, I, I will say his name properly, but not with the proper emphasis. Captain Caveman. He's yep, definitely not garroting anybody. He's oh, oh he's definitely garroting the cool fry. Um, that's how oh, you get no. tater tots. Peter Marty. Pancakes now being attacked in the top uh, top left, just or sorry center left, just getting decimated and turned into sort of a venom esque creature from the pen of Rave Royale. Yeah, yeah, that is the sort of swirling tongue that we've come to see from Rave Royale. We we started with something very similar to that uh, in our first Super Art Fight Neo session two weeks ago. Uh, so nice to see kind of a callback there. And now we've got Red Aaron going to the waffles, really going to make some damage to those waffles. Uh, Marty, what is she doing to the waffles? Uh, I, That's something I normally have to ask. I'm not quite sure. Uh, thinking about the topic of Gritty Hanna-Barbera character, seeing the mask like that, is this Space Ghost? What's oh, happening? I'm so glad you could recognize it. <laughs> Mother of God, it's Space Ghost. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Only, uh, <laughs> only gritty because he's got stubble. Oh, he's gritty because he has stubble. Oh, he's stubble. gritty because he has yeah. stubble. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'll buy that maybe later. Um, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, trying where, to grow where's... his beard like his uh, late great-grandfather. 35 <laughs> seconds to remaining in this, your opening contest. We've got three bouts here tonight, so stick around for bouts two and three, but we're going to be throwing the link into the chat to our straw poll where you'll be able to pick the victor. And also, between bouts, I'm going to announce the official winner of our awesome con bout earlier today. So, uh, Oh, and top right, we've got Rave Royale going, sneaking up behind Space Ghost the Waffle. <laughs> And attacking it with, uh, I believe, a dragon. Did you ever actually watch Space Ghost, Ross? Oh, sorry, that's Brett. Uh, that's Zorak. <laughs> and we have. I needed context. We have hit the finish, ladies and gentlemen. Caps on markers. That is an art fight, as the straw poll is now being shared in the chat. The power is yours, dear internet. 
We're going to give you two minutes to vote. You can see the countdown on the screen, and we will find out. Will it be Rave Royale? Will it be Red Aaron? So uh, we'll have to see who can build some momentum here today. Um, we There have been some, some rumors, some rumblings that wins and losses may soon begin to matter here in super art fight neo and uh you have to think with those rumors swirling both competitors want to win uh while this is ticking down let's check in with the artists see how they're feeling i'm going to start with red aaron red aaron what do you think about here this evening that was a very crazy experience <laughs> it's like there's a little bit of a learning curve to this one it was a lot of fun these topics were fascinating <laughs> fascinating <laughs> how so <laughs> just um approaching them with these like unique colors is just very different than um like on a main canvas i like i'm very just sort of absorbing it even myself <laughs> okay let me ask you this red iron real fast um uncle buck where'd that come from how'd that pop into your skull Oh yeah, he he makes like these huge pancakes. Yeah, but where did where have you watched it recently? Was that like a quarantine rewatch? Uh, was it uh, on the brain? Is it always close to your heart? I remembered it because I was trying to think of pancakes. Right on, right on. Well, uh, let's check in and see what your fellow competitor thought of this bout. Rave Royale, how would you feel about going into the digital realm here today? Oh, I had a lot of fun. And I've been looking forward to go against Red Aaron for a long time. Nice, nice. Well, hopefully uh, we won't be stuck in quarantine for super long. We'll be able to do this on a proper canvas sometime soon. Fingers and toes cross on that. Voting is called. And I will say uh, just sort of a, a live note that was shared here is... Uh, I saw in chat, possibly maybe when we do the voting countdown, we should not do video in the center. It is what it is. We'll figure it out as we go along. Anyway, folks, it is time to find out who the victor of bout number one is. Let's throw it to the graphic. Red Aaron, oh, Red Aaron takes the victory here in bout number one. Tremendous victory for red Aaron here live tonight on Twitch. check out that production value yeah <laughs> doing I'm what impressed. we can red Aaron anything you would like to say to your uh your your lovely audience here today well, well just that I'm very honored that you liked what I put together today and um that I hope to do lots of these in the future and um now that my bout's over. I look forward to joining you in the chat for the rest. Awesome. Red Aaron, any plugs that you have anywhere where people can check out your artwork online, anything like that? Uh, yes. Twitch.tv slash super art fight. Tremendous. Okay. And wow. Rave Royale, nice a <laughs> tremendous match. Sorry you were not the victor here today, but I wanted to see if you had any plugs you wanted to share to our audience here tonight. Um, if people feel like joining me another day of the week, I, I stream twice a week on Pixel Ivy uh, on Twitch. So yeah, twitch.tv slash Pixel Ivy. Very cool. Well, an excellent opening contest here tonight. Big thank you to both artists. And we're going to get rolling on into bout number two in the next few moments. Ross, what do you think of that opening match? That was epic, mm -hmm. Marty. I mean, both artists brought so much energy to this canvas. Uh, really fantastic to see them bring it together like this. And also something that's a pretty new medium for our artists. You know, it's a it's a very different thing to go from the physical medium to the digital one and not always an easy transition for all of our artists. So fantastic job by both of them really jumping in and really getting used to it in a hurry. Uh, not to mention just all the things that we have to have going on behind the scenes that are making this happen. Uh, having a you know a Zoom call open while trying to draw on one screen and mm -hmm. have another thing open over here and have the producer in your in your headphones and all that at once, pretty pretty cool to see them really just rise to that challenge and pull it all together. Yes, indeed, couldn't agree more. Uh, there, there's a lot of moving parts to this show, uh, both that which you can see live and that which we're seeing behind the scenes and. 
uh, we're, we're truly excited um, by uh, the opportunity that this sort of production has allotted us. Um, uh, while this may have started as an off season for us, uh, but we may uh, we may see more of this even when the off season ends, if you will. Anyway, folks, uh, some very quick uh, housekeeping. Superirefight.com is, of course, your home for all things Super Art Fight with a brand new coat of paint. We got a brand new site for a brand new era in Super Art Fight action. Uh, we've got uh, our merch store, superartfight.etsy.com. You can follow us on Patreon, patreon.com slash superartfight. And of course, folks, you can subscribe, throw us some bits, whatever you want to do. Do all of the Twitch things here. And uh, apparently a hype train has started in the chat. I new, News to me, new new things here. I don't know how this works, yeah, and but... Uh, Good lord, there's subs and everything going on. This is crazy. Let me let me just uh, say say one more thing. Uh, in addition to just like a coat of paint on the new website, our new website features all of our show posters, which our artists have put a ton of time into over the years. You can see a gallery of all those. Uh, we, we've got a full history of uh, the championship belts, who's had them, how long, all that. Not to mention. Uh, bios of all of our artists and info about uh, everyone that you're seeing both in this show and in future shows. And of course, a schedule of upcoming shows, including at least for the next couple of weeks, everything we've planned to do on Twitch, uh, yeah. which the, our next show up after this one is super art fantasy, which is going to be us playing D and D on Thursday night at 7 PM. And the next weekend we'll be hitting you with that casual Saturdays. Yes, indeed. And I promised it before the break, folks. Earlier today, we were part of Awesome Con Online, an online version of Awesome Con. Awesome Con in DC was originally scheduled to take place this weekend. It got booted down to December of this year because of everything going on, but they decided to do a live streaming event. We were honestly honored to be a part of it earlier today as we featured uh baron von sexy full versus rave royale in a shortened 12 minute match and i wanted to give the official results announce them here ross a little drum roll if you please i don't know if this is working this is annoying i can't tell hey all right yeah the winner of our special online bout as a part of awesome con online with 65 percent of the vote was baron von sexy fool baron oh. von sexy fool taking oh. the victory and that's a great time to introduce one of our competitors here this evening you know him you love him especially if you followed super hard fight but if this is your first time watching he is the owner of the tightest pants in Super Art Fight, and you just heard his scream. This is Baron Von Sexyful. Hello there. How are you both? I'm just lounging here in my host home here in Baltimore, uh, hanging out, you know, in my PJs, my very tight PJs. Although I, I think I need to get my slippers shipped back from somewhere vaguely Eastern Europe. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. I love that um, even you don't know where you live. It's been a long yeah. time. I've been quiet. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Come on now, give me a break. <laughs> okay, uh, Baron Sexyful. Um, I, I've got to ask, uh, where are you where are you hold up right now? Um, well, you know, uh, the same host family I've been with for a long time. This, I don't know. He's not very good. He's local artist. Ugh. Um, but um, his his wife is uh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I didn't realize Super Rare Fight was going to get into cucking this fast. Anyway, folks, uh, Baron Von Sexy Fool, you've got a heck of uh, you've got a heck of an opponent here this evening. This artist joined us as a part of our tryouts last summer and made their debut on the Black Hat stage last fall. It's been an unfortunate long time since this artist artist has joined us from uh, from far from far far away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Princess Vivian Shabwood. It is Queen Vivian Shabwood, and it's good to oh, see you all. I, I, my, my apologies. Our my apologies, apologies, Queen. Yes, uh, Queen. How are you doing here this evening? Oh, I'm just fantastic. And hello, Twitch. How are you all? <laughs> 
Now, this does not look like the land of make-believe, Vivian. Where where are you quarantining right now? Um, I am in the annex of make-believe. Um, I had to do a little bit of um, imperialist uh, BS, and so I took over this nice basement apartment and um, happened to make friends with the locals, and uh, it's working out really well. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, uh, it, it's been a bit since we've seen you in Super Art Fight. Are you uh, excited to be a part of this digital version of the show? I absolutely am. Um, I work digitally normally and um, kind of live online a little bit, maybe. Um, so this is kind of a home for me as much as the kingdom of make believe. Tremendous, tremendous. Well, we're very excited to have you as a part of this. Uh, we know you joined in with a lot of our pre-show tests, so I'm very excited to have you here and with quite a challenge ahead of you in Baron Von Sexyful. But I think now is the time to reveal the starting topics. Producer Steve, can you throw them up beneath me on the canvas here? Baron Von Sexyful drawing in pink. We'll have tea. Oh. And Vivian Shamwood drawing in blue will have coffee it's tea versus coffee this 20 minute contest as the breakfast battle rolls on we're gonna start this as we did all others so artists are you ready yeah Woo! <laughs> audience are you ready all right here we go three two one art fight yeah art fight Okay, so on the left-hand side, drawing in pink, we've got Baron Von Sexyful. While meanwhile, drawing in blue, we have Vivian Shamwood. And again, it is coffee versus tea in a caffeinated combat to the death. Yes, indeed. Two combatants, uno e uno, throwing down here. And uh, I, I uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. We've got tea and coffee throwing one on one, folks. And unsurprisingly, Baron Von Sexyful is drawing Baron Von Sexyful. This is a very European canvas, Marty, because already on the left, we've got someone from Eastern Europe and on the right, a French press. So we're keeping it really European here. Uh, you know, heightened sensibilities. I'm all about it. Uh, so as Baron Von Sexyful spills some tea somehow or another, meanwhile, our uh, our own queen, Vivian Shamwood, is brewing up some, uh, I don't know, I can't think of another word with B, uh, brewing up some amazing uh, baubles. Let's go with baubles. Yeah. Great. Marty. Ross, uh, I, I have to figure out how to say this in the most diplomatic way. So yep. I'm just gonna I'm gonna fall on the sword, folks. Mm. Baron von Sexyful is currently drawing Baron von Sexyful as a tea bag. Yep, yeah, that is uh, that is some Baron von tea right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, what would taste better than all of these? Oh goodness! Ah. Oh, just just when I think I know what's gonna happen next, uh, oh, you know God. it's. Uh, I don't know why it looks like one person can be synchronized swimming, but it does right now. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely single person synchronized swimming on the left hand side in purple or sorry, in, in the pink shades. On the right, that French press just dripping in the coffee right into the gullet into Vivian Shamwood right into their face right there. That's that's how I start my morning, Marty, and that is approximately to scale. Uh, right that seems thing. dangerous to me, Ross. The, the 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 overall warmth of said coffee being dripped into your face, I would be afraid of burning my eyes. Well, see, that's why yeah. you leave it over, um, for the rest of the day, so it turns into kind of cold brew. Ah. Oh, there you go, a nice a nice warm brew situation. <laughs> yes, a room temp brew, if you will. That right there is a uh, is is a fantastic quarantine tip, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Now, if anyone wants to cat catch me talking about brew methods be sure to be sure to hit me up in the chat later is, is uh, that what casual saturday is going to be this week ross nover's coffee tips it very well might be i will easy i will gladly take tw i don't know a 10 minute tour of my uh my caffeine setup downstairs because uh 
I've been upgrading and that, yeah, the burr grinder is looking sweet. Splish, um, splash Baron Von Sexy Fool taking a bath on the left hand side of that canvas. He's spilling the tea. Spilling the tea on Vivian Shamwood. We're just gonna we're gonna, we're just gonna ignore the where that splash is coming from. I'm just saying that it's is an excited. From the cup. I it's just want to say it, it is well steeped. Oh, uh huh. God. Baron Von Sexy Fool's been doing his kegels, is what I'm learning. <laughs> oh man. It's a great time to once again point out that my mother-in-law is watching the show, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know, that. that's important. Uh, uh, it's important to, you know, really make sure you uh, have good command of your pelvic floor. So, uh, Marty, what's going on with that teacup? Uh, well, the teacup itself uh, appears to be turning into a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks like you're becoming a teacup, short and stout. I am the teacup. Short Ed Stout. That is my handle. I don't see a spout, though. Uh, I think you're getting squirted at the top. Oh, oh, of course. <laughs> um, not you not know, the I'm, first I'm time getting... that Baron Von Sexyful has been smushed on top of my head. What if this is like, uh, like you're in, you were, you're in Beauty and the Beast and you're just the cup now. I'm Chip? Yeah, you're Chip the cup. That's fair, and it looks like Vivian Shamwood. You was look pretty trying bummed about in. it, though. Vivian Shamwood was trying to uh, come in on the left hand side, drop some ice into that tea. Oh yeah, <laughs> try to cool down that brew cycle. And we've got two brand new topics coming in for the wheel of death. Thank God. Here we go. Baron oh, Von we got a level four hype fool. train, which I w will freely admit I do not understand. Uh, so I'll have to explain that to me later. Baron Von Sexyful getting pug hybrids and Vivian Shamwood getting the eighth grade dance. Well, hopefully the pug hybrids will be able to breathe. Uh, so yeah. as Vivian Shamwood works on eighth grade dance, um, Marty, what was your favorite uh, eighth grade dance song? Uh, well, uh, I, I believe for everybody, so hard to say goodbye to yesterday would be a fave because that meant the dance was pretty much over. All right. Uh, by the way, I'm going to keep an eye on the chat in, in our Twitch stream. Please share your favorite eighth grade dance song. Yes. I really uh, want to know the answer. For me, I think I'm going to go uh, Pony by Genuine. That's your genuine pick. Um, That's my genuine Breaking pick. news, folks. As earlier, I was uh, mentioning the texts from our very own Ross Nover as he was departed from the chat. Um, I've received a text from my mother-in-law, and you folks are going to love this. She wanted me to say hi to Baron Von Sexyful for her. Oh, hello there. But what is your mother-in-law's name? I'm about to say it. It's Donna. Hello, Donna. Ooh, I like Wowie. it. Wowie. Getting getting toasty in here, Marty. This getting is, toasty. This is turning into a very odd evening, folks. Two bouncing. It always does here at Super Art Fight. Okay, Two so uh, uh, we've got Baron Von Sexful in the top right drawing a pug hybrid. Now, instead of tur you know trying to improve a pug and make it maybe more adapted to living in Earth. Uh, it, it seems like Baravon Sexy Fool has gone the other way and gone full Cthulhu with this pug hybrid. Yeah, uh, did, did got... not fix any of the breathing issues in this scenario. No, no, but now it can escape its cage. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to draw gills. Oh, oh, gills? appreciate It's hard to tell what's a neck fold and what's a gill when it's exactly. a pug. I mean, it's just all like flubber flubber. I, I can't, I can't even. It's all like flubber flubber, just just like Robin Williams' career in 1996. On the canvas, though, the eighth grade dance is not really coming together. It's more just occurring as we have all the girls on the left-hand side and all the boys on the right-hand side, and we're getting the disco ball in the center. That's right. We are. It's a really awkward eighth grade dance where apparently Marty is playing the role of the principal who's trying to get everyone to have a good time. Yeah, right well, in the middle. On, kids. We um, spent a lot of money for this. Come on. May I point out it just really looks like they're all circling around to watch me dance. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I'm waiting there. It kind of looks like the polyphonic spree is about to perform. 
Yes. Uh, also, something that I I, uh, I was passed in the past few moments. Our own producer has informed me that his mother's name is also named Donna. So basically, the Baron von Sexyful shout-out worked for his mother and my mother-in-law. Oh, double uh, By the way, I'd like to call out uh, in the chat, I, I'm, I'm right with you uh, that I Swear from All for One was also very highly pro prominently featured at my eighth grade dance. Uh, I think they they played it once it, early in the night and once again later in the night just to make sure you didn't miss it. I danced zero, zero of those times. Uh, um, also, folks, uh, I want to throw it to referee Adam in the chat. There's a lot that's been going on. Uh, Adam, what what's happening in the chat? What's go What the heck is a hype street uh, or hype train? I'm so confused. A hype train? Well, it, it's a... Uh... It's something done by Twitch. It brings it brings uh, the hype to our channel and it lets uh, the viewers in the channel pipe up in the chat with uh, subs, follows, and bits. And we actually, due to these lovely people here in the chat, got to level four, which is not, that is not a small feat. A special thank you to Sonia Road, who not only subbed themselves, but gifted out 10 additional subs to other people in the chat, which is insane. Thank you so, so, so much. We have we have more files that came out by uh, P3N Five Myth, Grumpy Gills, Court Jester. We have uh, we have a brand new file that just came in by Fonsi, but we have we're we're at ten seconds, so please take it away. All right, we're going back to the Wheel of Death. Two brand new topics coming in. Respits available for both artists. Let's see what Baron Von Sexy Fool gets. He's got sunglasses at night. Appropriate evening because, delight because he is wearing sunglasses right now. And Vivian, Vivian, you've got Action Chameleon. Vivian, are you going to stick with that or take a respin? Go for take the respin. Respin re -spin for Vivian Shamwood. I think I will take a respin too. Respin oh, re for Baron as well. Respins for everybody. Okay, so now we've got for Baron Sniper Lassie. Okay. <laughs> and for Vivian Shamwood, Extreme Esports. Yes. So we'll see how that comes together. Um, at, at this point, Ross, if ESPN is any indication, esports are the only sports we have. I believe. Yeah, we should... we're gonna start calling them just sports and call yeah. everything else L sports. Yeah, live sports. Yeah. Good lord, just been, been absolutely crazy. Now, uh, Vivian Shamwood, you've got extreme esports. What are you thinking for that one? Oh, the swarm. For the swarm, uh, it's I don't, a Starcraft. It's, it's a, a Starcraft, Starcraft reference. There we yeah, go. Yeah, don't you know you have to build more pylons, Marty? Uh, I did not know I needed to construct additional pylons, but now I've learned. Yeah, I mean, generally, it's good advice. <laughs> can never have too many pylons. Yes, never ever can have too many pylons, but appropriately turning that, uh, that pug into basically one of the starcraft creatures it, it kind of looked like one to, to begin with so uh, uh appropriate here and our sniper lassie coming in also on the top right side as it fires across through the disco ball into a target now being illustrated by baron von sexyful on the left hand side yeah you know what that is marty that is one shot one kill tom behringer style <laughs> no diggity no doubt uh and it looks like whatever it's being shot or it's firing at is being thrown together there uh, from the pen of Baron Von Sexyful. Uh, and I'm trying to make out what's going on on the right. Ross, can you understand what's going on, on the right hand side, sir? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. So now we've got the pug as our esports uh, because, you know, all, all you had to do really is draw TV around it and you're good to go. Uh, so that's from the pen of Vivian Shamwood. Uh, wonderful job, Queen. Wonderful job. Yes, Dare say you queen. slay. Yes. Um, meanwhile, on the left hand oh side, my God. it appears that Sniper Lassie just shot Timmy into the well. Oh Who my God. How he got there. Right down yeah. into the well. Bad good news for Lord. Lassie. <laughs> but good news for our we ratings. We have to find him later. <laughs> it, it actually uh, appears as if uh, the drawing of Vivian from the beginning there. Uh, uh, on on the right hand side is now controlling the esports stream, whether it's through a keyboard or one of those fancy stream tools that I see. 
and I keep telling our producer he should buy it at some point, and we would reimburse him for it. <laughs> We'll, we'll okay, see. so as our esports comes together for Vivian uh, and our sniper laughs has come together for Baron Sexful, that gives our artists each a minute and a half to decide what they want to draw and still plenty of room for both artists to work in uh, yes. before we spin the Wheel of Death for the final time. Now, both artists have used their respin, so that means that whatever comes up on this final spin of the wheel, they're going to have to make work somehow or another. It's worth noting that unlike uh, in the last bout between Red Aaron and Rave Royale, where we saw the canvas just absolutely filled in uh, from all of the different illustrations, uh, there's a lot of space. There's a, a lot of, of remaining pixels to be filled here. A lot of things that can be done. And it looks like what's happening now is the eighth grade dance is being turned into a series of pugs from the pen of Baron Von Sexyful. They're very awkward pugs. So pugs? Yeah. Okay, tremendous. In the left-hand side, so far, pugless. No pugs to be found. About 30 seconds to that next spin and final spin of the Wheel of Death. And again, I don't know if it's, a sh it's one of those... Uh, Elgato stream tools, or if it's actually a keyboard that's being illustrated, but Baron Von Sexyful being put into a box here, being put into a monitor with just 10 yeah. seconds until that final spin. We're getting, we're getting our extreme esports. I, I think we're just getting a land party on the canvas, Marty, is what we're getting. <laughs> and it old school. The wheels are spinning. Two final topics. Baron Von Sexy Fool gets Naruto running. And oh my God, Vivian Shamwood gets Dummy Thick Sexy Fool. <laughs> so now we have to see how Vivian Shamwood would illustrate Baron Von Sexy Fool. Dummy Thick style. Yes. Yes. Dummy Thick. Just clapping it together. Now my concern is I'm about to receive a text from my mother-in-law, which reads, what does Dummy Thick mean? Um... Hey, hey, Donna, Google that. Oh, God. Have fun. Oh, God. Um, oh, now, <laughs> so as as Vivian Shamwood uh, starts to work on, on our dummy thick, right there in the middle of the canvas, right in between uh, our eSports extravaganza, meanwhile below, we've got what I believe is a pug that's also Naruto running. <laughs> Yes, yes, we're seeing the, the arms thrown back and the jowls just flying while he runs. Yeah, under under all that all that just jowl, it's really hard to tell what's keeping a pug together. <laughs> oh wait, just this just in. My mom is watching the stream and texted me, and I quote, what does thick mean? <laughs> El Carol. She did spell it correctly with two C's. I just want to point that out. Um, yes. Yeah, either of you want to take this? Queen Vivian, Baron Mutt Sexyful, what do you, you want to You know what, answer? I'm going to ask Queen Vivian, as, as Vivian is doing the illustration of our dummy Thick Sexyful. Vivian, what does Thick mean? Uh, big? Uh, not in between, um, oh, attractively, um, attractively plump. All right. Attractively Tremendous. plump. Yeah. Tremendous. All right, let's see what Baron has to say. Baron, what does Thick mean? All of this. <laughs> Of course, of course, three minutes remaining as the rather prominent nipples are being drawn in to our Naruto running pug appropriately from the pen of Baron Von Sexyful. And our dummy thick Baron is looming above the eighth graders. Not a great yeah, sentence that's to just say where out you loud. Want it. Not a great sentence to say out loud. Oh, man. Th this is definitely going to go down as one of the weirder art fights we've ever had. And that includes Unleashed Ones. Yeah. Um, uh, now, my mom would like me to point out that there's a Yiddish term for this called Zaftig. Ah, oh, I'm familiar with means, that. Yeah, that's, that's basically dummy thick for you. <laughs> Tremendous. So, nice to know that, that uh, Yiddish was really, really ahead of the game on that one. Yeah. Yeah, we've got ourselves two minutes of change remaining in this contest two of three. Our main event of the evening just coming up, so be sure to stick around. But don't forget to hop into the straw poll for this one in the next few minutes. It's going to be 
up to you, dear audience. Baron Von Sexy Fool will he get his second victory of the day, or will Vivian Shemwood's debut be an important one as they take down the Baron? We will find out in just one minute and 35 seconds. Ross, what are you seeing over there as these last moments tick on by? Well, uh, uh, our dummy thick is is just getting thicker all the time, Marty. There on the right hand side from Vivian Shamwood. These are some uh, king hippo level portions. Yeah, this is this is a hungry hippo if ever there was one. And I got to be honest, there's like so many layers to this drawing right now that I am trying to like pick out the details on this thing. Uh, and <laughs> it's almost as though a like we've got Vivian's drawing just like cannonballing right there on top of the canvas uh, as it comes together. And I'm, I'm really just trying to make out all these, uh, all the lines of it and, and figure out all these details. While meanwhile, Baron Mount Sexville, meanwhile, trying to work on top of it, make sure his drawing uh, of Naruto running pug sticks out over that. So we've really got levels upon levels upon levels. But do you see that to the left of the pug, trying to draw. Do you see that to the left of the pug? Yes, I do, Marty. That's another Baron von Sexful running with, uh, does he have like six nipples on his chest? Yes, yes he has teats too, as 25 seconds remain. Oh man, teats two. I never even saw teats one. Yeah, teats two, do Judgment I, do I need Day to see was it for... fantastic. <laughs> I like that. Um, and okay, uh, oh, now. Last few moments ticking by. We've got... Baron Von Sexful working over there on the left. We'll see what comes five, together. He's got five, four, seconds to do it. three, two, one. Caps on markers. Caps on markers. Woo. That's an art fight. Oh, wow. Drew okay. and Ross in those Woo. last few moments. Take a look at that canvas, folks. You've got two minutes to vote. The straw poll being tossed into the chat. Only one victor. Allowed here tonight. Well, Baron von Sexton. It looks like Sigmund move. Freud is running to the rescue on the left hand side. I, I I still think that's supposed to be you, although you are now completely I know. shaven. No, no, no. It it's I get it. It's just you know, it could be both. Why not both? Um. So real quick, while uh, y'all have a chance to vote, and the link to that voting is in the chat. Uh, it's a link to Straw Poll. You can see that. Um, you've got a minute and a half or so to vote. Uh, we just want to mention real quick about our patreon uh marty you want to tell them a little bit about what's going on over there yeah patreon.com slash super art fight uh it's one of many ways you can support us here of course uh you can support twitch uh you can support us by picking up merch on our etsy store super art fight.etsy.com but patreon.com slash super art fight uh it is uh a way for us to deliver you cool content for a regular fee. So what we've been doing for our $5 and up subscribers is we've been providing new episodes of Super Art Fight Uncapped, a behind the scenes show of all of our live events. A new episode went up yesterday covering our Ocean City Comic Con uh, show back in December. Uh, so you can check that out. There's uh, from past events, uh, videos, looking back at Otacon, looking back at the Black Cat, looking back at Autobar, uh, looking back on a photo day. Basically, if you want more Super Art Fight content in your life, that's what you need to go to patreon.com slash Super Art Fight. And uh, we actually just put a post up there yesterday because it's growing. Thank you very, very much. We would love to hear uh, what type of content you want to see from us. We're working on uh, nudge, nudge, hint, hint, uh, smell. Uh, it, it sounds like schmodcast, if you will. Uh, we've got some new content coming there, but of course we want you to let us know what you want to see. And uh, we'll just keep building this out with uh, new content every month coming to you. But folks, it's time to find out who won this contest. Uh, I just want to double check producers in my ear. Are we good to go to announce the victor? Oh. All right. Let's find out the winner of the second contest of the evening is. Oh. Baron Von Sexy Fool takes the victory. Oh, Baron Von Sexy Fool. Excellent victory here. Pulled it out. Baron Von Sexy Fool, anything you'd like to say to the live audience and also your opponent here this evening? Vivian Shamwood, you are just so strong with your stroke. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> as for me, I just had fun uh, trying to find ways to put nipples on the canvas. I, 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 I love the puppies. 
the, the, the pugs made for much fun to draw. And I was very proud of getting Ross in at the last se uh, second, uh, Sigmund Ross. Um, real fast, Baron von Sexful, can we just get a, a clear audio of you saying nipples again? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, nipples. Thank you. Yeah, yeah someone could cut that. that and yeah. send it to me. Tremendous, tremendous. Uh, I, oh, sorry, it happened again. <laughs> oh God. All right. Uh, any anything you'd like to plug before we let you go, bud? Uh, sure. As I said, I'm in the this house home. This is artist. Um, um, you know, uh, they have. Yeah, you should you should check out his work. Uh, it's Spaghetti Kiss. Um, you can see them on the Instagrams, on the Etsy's. Have fun with it. Lots of weird, uh, not so sexy full things, but pretty cool. All right, tremendous. And your opponent here this evening, let's go to them. Vivian Shanwood. Vivian, your hand was not raised in victory today, but you had a heck of a bout. How are you feeling about it? Oh, it was so much fun. And really, that's the best part of it. Um, the Baron is um, highly respected in the kingdom of make-believe. And perhaps now that we have fought um, my kingdom and uh, whatever he rules um, can have a partnership. Tremendous, tremendous. Is there anything you would like to plug? Uh, yes. Um, AliceAlts.com can link you to all my social media pages. I also stream on Twitch. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I will be in the chat shortly. Awesome. Well, awesome. thank you for joining What's your, um, oh, what's ahead, your Twitch uh, uh, username? Um, AliceAlts. E-L-S-A-L-T-S. Tremendous. Awesome. Yeah, be sure to post it in the chat. All right, folks, we're going to get rolling on into our main event of the evening. The canvas is going to get cleared out. And I think now's a great time for us to check in once again with referee Adam. Adam, how are things going in the chat? It, it, like I said, it's in the corner of my eye. It looks like a party going on over there. Oh, it's a party indeed. We have, after a, a very successful hype train, we have uh, we've gotten a bunch of follows and a bunch of a uh, bun bunch of likes and comments and subscribes and that's YouTube, but that's okay. So I uh, just want to extend a, a thank you to Mechana Impact for their sub on Twitch, as well as uh, Bardaic Falons and Captain Combeard Pixel Ivy, one of our own. And uh, as for some of the follows that came in, EA Strain, Fantasy, Cali Pigeon, and P3N5 Myth. So thank you guys so much for your support of our crazy show here. We really appreciate you and all that you do. Also, someone in the chat is named, um, where were they? SAF Quack. Who are you? Obviously someone from DC, but we love you. <laughs> Thank you. Never stop being amazing. Back to you guys. <laughs> Tremendous. Thank you, referee Adam. Uh, Ross, this has been a, a really wonderful, delightful, and strange evening. Uh, this has been yeah. so great. I, I think I get Twitch now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us and hanging out. And uh, you know what? I, I think there's no better time than the present to keep it rolling into our main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh wait, I'm, I, I've just been informed. We need a few more seconds. Tremendous. <laughs> you want to do another drum roll? Went so well uh, no, last no, time. No, no, we, no. We, we don't need another drum roll. Uh, again, superartfight.com is a home of all things Super Art Fight. Twitch.com slash super, or excuse me, uh, Twitter.com slash Super Art Fight is our Twitter. Instagram.com slash Super Art Fight. Basically, all of the things slash super art fight you will find us there including google.com slash super art fight don't ask us how we got it but we did oh yeah we're all over that thing um <laughs> yeah and you can see uh if you want merch from particular artists that you've seen tonight you can get a t-shirt of uh rave royale baron von sexy full uh not to mention our producer behind the scenes Steve speed um and of course the people you're going to be seeing in the next match Yes, so, indeed. There's merch for everybody. Got all that on our Etsy. Yes. Uh, and uh, if you want to bring the Super Art Fight action to you at home, uh, we're also selling our card game, Cute Animals on Fire, which uh, you can uh, purchase at any time by heading, of course, superartfight.etsy.com. Um, hey, uh, Ralsifer, my dear friend. Yes, sir. You do a comic, don't you? I have been known to do one. Yes, I do. 
Yes, and where can people find that comic? Yeah, let's 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 tell people about that. Uh, yeah, you can go to systemcomic.com and see my comic. Uh, I update every once in a while, uh, which honestly has been more frequently lately because for some reason I'm sitting around my house so much. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can you can find that there. Uh, go check it out. And we've actually tried really hard right here at Super Art Fight to link to all the stuff that our artists do. So if you go over to our website, superartfight.com and check out our roster page, uh, you can learn more about all the artists and more about what they do. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, I've just been informed that we are ready to roll with our main event of the evening. So I want to go ahead and shout it out first. This man kicked off our Super Art Fight Neo adventure. And now he finds himself in the main event. I don't know how many drinks he's in right now, but we're just going to call him this. Two Drink Alex. Hello. Here I am. Two Drink uh, Alex. Looking good. What number oh, are you drinking? Okay. So this is um, technically my third drink of the night. Uh, this is a, um, uh, what I've been informed is a, uh, a good breakfast drink because it has absinthe in it. It is a death in the afternoon, which is absinthe and champagne. Oh, that'll knock mm. you on your ass. Very oh, yeah. fancy. It, like, I'm already knocked on my ass, so uh, I can expect to be uh, underground at some point. All right. Well, if you're going to be underground, it's only appropriate then that you are facing the most death metal -y member of the Super Art Fight roster. As on the opposite side of this canvas, you face the current Super Art Fight champion, reigning, not defending tonight but still has amazing things planned for you. She's been posting in all caps all night long in the chat. Let's give it up for Titanium. What is up? Your champion is here. Make some noise in a socially distanced and appropriate fashion. <laughs> Titanium, Ooh. how are you doing here tonight? I am impeccable! Chat was brutal! And I have been waiting to face a warrior as noble and drunken as Alex for as long as I have been an art fighter! In fact, I am so excited that I have brought my own drink! Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Jeez, Titanium is making me, uh, she's making me sunset blush. <laughs> I, I can't even, uh, I, I... I can't even tell the scale of that drink. Uh, oh no, it actually is as big as I thought. I just thought it was close to the screen. But no, that is actually an extremely large drink and she is chugging it. It's kind of the inverse of what a beer can oh. looks like in the hand of Andre the Giant. It is, <laughs> it, it is massive, it is huge. Ripping it and gripping it here tonight is Titanium. <laughs> Where'd you get that, Australia? Socially distanced beer showers, so I can hope to provide the stinkiest, stinkiest, mushiest experience you can expect. Mm, ditto. All right. Well, on that note, I think we should get this bout rolling because if we wait too long, we're just gonna have two very drunk artists. And I was about to say, who wants to Is see that? that? A problem? But I've been seeing the chat on and off all night long, and I know all of you would want to see that. But we want to present a, you know, decent product. So, with that in mind, let's continue rolling on into the topics. We continue with the breakfast battle. Let's pop it up on screen down below right now. All right, two drink Alex in orange. You've got bacon, mm. titanium in red. You've got sausage. It's bacon v sausage. A battle where everyone wins. And none of it's kosher. <laughs> so, as before, artists, are you ready? Cheers. Audience, are you ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, art fight. Okay, so starting on the left-hand side, we're gonna have two drink Alex. While me on the right hand side, Titanium is gonna be working in red. Uh, and as we get our faces off the screen and out of the way, uh, soon you guys will be able to see. There we that. go. There it is. 
There we are. We've got bacon on the left from Two Drink Alex. Sausage. So on far, the... that bacon is just a beer can. Oh, I get it. Explain yeah. the joke. Well, I I think it's vaguely racist. <laughs> uh, early internet gave, gave us a wonderful website called Bacon or Beer Can, which had a gentleman with a uh, strong Jamaican accent saying one of the two words, and the more you listen to it, the less sure you were. I, I call it the the dress of its day. Yes, uh, because you really weren't sure which it was. Uh, meanwhile, on the right hand side, our sausage. So far, is I'm pretty sure a martini being turned into sausages. That's how the sausage gets made, Ross. Uh, I always wondered. Oh, I think I just realized it's <clears throat> sauced edge, if you will. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> a maniacal laugh from Titanium. Titanium's laughter sounds more and more friendly every time I hear it, and I find that very <laughs> disarming. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't help uh, you know uh, pro tip any of you guys that are making martinis at home uh, if you want to dirty mar your martini but you don't have any uh, green olive juice Kalmata olives are really phenomenal in a martini and give it a nice pinkish purplish color uh, really recommend that if you're trying something interesting and you've had too many martinis already I literally almost tried that earlier actually I'm a big fan I'm a big big fan I don't know when this show turned into Bon Appetit, but here we are. <laughs> Listen, why not? <laughs> it's working out great for them. So oh, let's no see doubt. if we can let's see I, if we can pull some of that energy. I would love to see them make a gourmet version of Super Art Fight. That's how I feel. Listen, I don't see why we can't get some Bon Appetit test kitchen people onto a future stream. I mean, they're apparently just sitting around at home, so why not? Um, so, uh, here on the canvas on the left-hand side, we've got our bacon drinking a beer from the pen of two drink Alex. While meanwhile, on the right-hand side, we've got titanium, uh, <laughs> Marty, what is titanium doing? Uh, it looks like she's illustrating two drink Alex being tossed into the sausage maker. Okay. So We're going he's, full he's He's being turned into sausage, Ross. He's the he soil sure green is. of his time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he sure is. So uh, our, man, our beer can over there on the left, uh, that is like, I I mean, you, you could sense the alcohol coming off that canvas, can't you, Marty? Yes, yes. It, it definitely, definitely smells very strong. Very, oh, very We're strong. getting our first attack here. As, oh, what's happening, uh, Two Ross? Drink Alex is drawing now on top of the sausage and turning that sausage into a beverage. So saving himself. Oh, wait, not a beverage. R2-D2. Sorry. It yeah, spoke too yeah. soon. Now it's He's basically now getting poured and dropped right onto R2-D2. So basically, as opposed to R2-D2 taking up space in Two Drink Alex's head, Two Drink Alex will take up space in R2-D2's head. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and also, uh, now here's the thing. R2-D2, we've seen him have a lot of attachments and functions that we didn't know he had at first, mm -hmm. uh, ever since the invention of CGI. And uh, he might still get be make be made, being made into sausages. That might be an attachment that R2-D2 has. We really oh, don't know. I, I've no doubt that at least when he originally came from the factory, he had a sausage making device somewhere on him. But between nine movies and let's call it four of them were good, five of them were good, uh, he lost some parts along the way. Yeah, that, little did we know it's a Cuisinart R2-D2. Yes, and uh, it looks like we are getting a bunch of of uh star wars references now on the canvas but i've got to be honest i'm not sure who's drawing what now <laughs> Is well, this... we've... <laughs> so far I, here's what i'm seeing uh we've got titanium drawing trying princess leia uh quote help me obi-wan cannoli while meanwhile we've got two drink alex drawing our uh c3po sorry uh there in the oh, bottom right hand and, corner and it, i think we missed the wheel of death folks yeah, we, we just missed the wheel of death, so <laughs> yes. we'll cut over to that in a second here. Oh, there okay, we there we go. This is 
has been a great stream so far. <laughs> All right, amazing law ornaments. Awesome. Amazing lot or ornaments goes to two drink Alex. Unicorns goes to Titanium. Just unicorns? Just unicorns. Take it however you will. So amazing lawn ornaments goes to two drink Alex. Titanium getting unicorns. And we'll have to see how those two come together. Titanium and red. We're seeing the first parts of the unicorn come together in the center of the canvas. Okay, so we're getting our amazing lawn ornament, and I do believe it's a flamingo with yes. sunglasses. And down in the lower left, that unicorn's coming in, and it is attacking the bacon beer can on the left-hand side. Yeah, it is gripping it and possibly ribbing it, Marty. Absolutely. And that, I, I gotta say, I've got shades of Cafe Hun going on right now in the center of the canvas. Yeah. Now, uh, it looks like we're getting some technical issues there with uh, with uh, Two Drink Alex's pen because every, a lot of his drawings, it, we're seeing the, the the art lines up here and then like just kind of scribble erased uh, a second later. So it looks like he's, he's fighting through it, though. Uh, you know, much like an athlete would be fighting through an injury, we've got our artists here fighting through as best they can and trying to make the best of this canvas. Yes, indeed. He's doing a good job of it, trying to maintain uh, the, the feel and, and everything to the artwork. We've been fighting some technical issues all show, but our artists just sticking to the game, making it happen. And we are seeing a very angry unicorn coming in in the lower left hand corner, just tearing right into that beer can. We are seeing now, I, ass I would typically assume it's blood, but I'm guessing it's just beer coming down in the lower left. Uh, that looks to be Don't like a goze. And it goes. Uh, yeah. I guess well, it's uh, like a rosé, but it's a goes, so it's a gose. Oh, Because it's like Christ. red. I don't know. I tried. Um, Marty, this flamingo is just begging to be the mascot of something. What do you think it's the mascot for? If nothing else, a minor league baseball team for sure. All right. It's, sure. It's, why it's not? Got, the Albuquerque it, Flamingos. Exactly. Exactly. Or, you know, ironically, it's like the uh, the minor league team and sort of a northern state where it's undoubtedly cold the i don't know west wisconsin flamingos if you will all right sure why not um well, what do you i think? would have put it you know i'm thinking i'm thinking like a light beer that they're really trying to market to teens <laughs> yes yes the 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 zima of its day yeah oh. uh two drink alex what do you think so initially, I was turning it into a One Piece character, but then again, uh, it started forming into uh, a flamingo version of um, Guy Fieri. So uh, I added a little flames on his uh, on his plumage, as well as some donkey sauce, because that's how he rolls. Well, we're rolling right. deep with another edition of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives right here on the Super Hard Fight Twitch. We're seeing all of it come together, and uh, we're getting some of that patented titanium death metal font in the left-hand side. What are you seeing there from the pen of titanium, Ross Nover? Well, it looks like titanium is working on a on a quick death metal logo there on the left-hand side. I'm getting like etched into a desk vibes over there on the left uh, as we're getting the nightmare, uh, nice. which I assume is the name there. of. Our unicorn down below, or possibly that unicorn. Yep, there's an arrow. That tells me everything I need to know. Um, or possibly that unicorn solo acoustic project. I'm into it. We've got 30 seconds to the next spin of the wheel. Uh, I will check in with referee Adam as soon as uh, this is over, because we would love to hear what you're talking about in the chat our dear friends. Uh, but we've got two brand new topics coming in in just about 10 seconds. Free spins available for both artists. Let's see what it is. Here we go, folks. Go into that wheel of death. What will it be? Now, both artists still have our respin. Isn't that right, Marty? Yes, indeed it is. Two Drink Alex gets Cat Fight and Titanium gets Questionable Charities. Okay. So two drink Alex, Titanium, either one of you want to take your respins. 
No. Which one? Which one did I get? I wasn't. Cat fight. Cat fight. Cat fight. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, and uh, it looked. No, I'm good. Yeah. Oh no, he's keeping it. Okay, so keeping those topics. Cat fight for two drink, Alex. Questionable charities for Titanium. I guess that would be anything with a two or lower on Charity Navigator. <laughs> and um, it, it, it looks like Titanium and Two Drink Alex are just going nuts in that lower left-hand corner. Uh, things are just getting crazy over there. What what has happened to that unicorn? It's uh, turned into Two Drink Alex, what is happening? Yeah, oh. I turned, yeah, I turned the unicorn into Unicron. Uh, Very nice. Very nice. From... Oh, and uh, it looks Margaret, like... what's going on there? Yeah, go ahead, Please Titanium. Please my circle while I attend to some technical difficulties. My tablet pen has decided to short out. It simply could not handle this level of chaos. Ooh. Okay, so as, uh, as Titanium tries to fix her tablet pen, uh, she stop? did manage to... to no, we're going we're gonna to roll with it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how we roll here at Super Art Fight. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, I did notice that Titanium did have our flamingo, which uh, did we come up with a name for this flamingo? We we did not, but I will say one of the que I, I guess th that uh, Titanium trying to say superairfight.com is a questionable charity, <laughs> which is a, which is a great time to tell people that after they've you know subscribed and donated and all that fun stuff. I, I think I think I'm just gonna pull up here and uh, just say, uh, hey, Ref Adam, what's going on in the chat, bud? Well, uh, we have uh, we've gotten a bunch of new follows from uh, Rpog4035, Lattes Noir, uh, Ellis Arts, one of our own, uh, subbed and also gifted a sub. Thank you so much, Fury Dredge as well. I uh, speaking of Lattes Noir, which I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but uh, they posted earlier. This makes me feel like I'm at PAX again. Uh, us two and and thank you so much. We uh, we really appreciate you tuning in to the stream uh, during all of this craziness. Yes, and and I think I saw a note from someone that they want to buy a T-shirt of the nightmare. Mm -hmm. Very well. Yeah. Well, we can try and throw that up on our on our Etsy page for sure. Uh, speaking of which, you can find two, a two drink Galaxy shirt and a Titanium shirt uh, on our Etsy page. Go to superartfight.etsy.com and see all of that and a whole lot more. Titanium, how you doing over there, bud? Incredibly, I now have a flamingo to convert to the Dark Lords. Awesome. <laughs> Looking forward you know, to it. That really is a flame ingo. Like... Go ahead. Don flamingo, more like dark flamingo. Ooh. <laughs> she gets my One Piece reference. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> That's my new One Piece dark metal cover band. Uh, and it looks like our cat fight is now coming in from the pen of Two Drink Alex as it's Garfield. Somewhere Ollie Moss just got very happy and he doesn't know why. <laughs> wow. Deep cut from Marty Day, everybody. Yes. And as as Garfield gets drawn onto the canvas from the pen of Two Drink Alex down there in the middle, uh, that is a really demonic Garfield. That's That's... While meanwhile, we've got titanium drawing what I believe to be lasagna right next to him. <laughs> Marty, what's Temp going on? Tempting him right there. Tempted by the fruit of another right there on the right of Garfield. Uh, and uh, there's there's uh, just a, an incredible pile of both pasta and sauce going on there uh, as literally one of the most horrifying versions of Garfield I've ever seen makes their way onto the canvas. This is unreal. Yeah, his jaw is so long, it goes all the way to the bottom of the canvas and then back in from the top. Wow. Wow, that's that's crazy. Uh, and yeah. Don Flamingo being attacked again as it continues to be turned into the Dark Lord from the pen of Titania. Yeah, uh, for those of you guys that like One Piece references, stick around. Because two drink Alex is just going to go deep into that rabbit hole. And any two second, brand I'm new sure. topics for the wheel of death coming up right now, folks. Two drink Alex, Titanium, final topics of the match. She spins still in play. Defective Pikachu goes to two drink Alex, and Titanium gets safe for work BDSM. 
Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, I believe that's just that's just a bunch of binder clips, Marty. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. Uh, or or finding wonderful ways to hold a printer on your desk through ball gaggery. Um, I mean, at this point, what isn't safe for work? We're all, uh, unless we find ourselves essential, we're all working from home. So uh, all of it is safe for work at this point. So you know what? Just show up however you like. But remember where your camera is focused on like that guy on the news this week. Yeah, you know, quick question for you, Marty. Yes. Um, you think you think anyone's gonna gonna invest in work clothes ever again? Uh, I certainly am not. All right. Uh, and as uh, our <laughs> titanium just adds a lot of BDSM gear to uh, Don Flamingo there in the basically the middle of the canvas. Uh, we've got defective Pikachu coming in the top left, who looks uh, confused. Yeah, uh, d genuinely defective. And I got to say, uh, that is an incredible outfit on that Dark Lord Flamingo there in the center of the canvas. Yeah, now that defective Pikachu, you can tell it's voiced by Ryan Reynolds, like even without <laughs> it saying anything. Yes. Somehow it's just got that look about it, that it's about yeah. to say something a little snarky and a little bit cute. The, the fourth wall is broken, folks. Yeah. And hey. uh, Alex, what's he say? See Alice, please. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, he's a little defective. Definitely defective. And uh, I've just been informed uh, by Ref Adam that we have another patron on our Patreon. Thank you to Sean for joining at the $5 tier. Much appreciated. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we've got some open space with two minutes and 45 seconds to go. We got some open space in the top left and the top right. The center of the canvas is pretty much controlled. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to see who can pull things out in these last few moments. I will say what started as two drink Alex in that drink is now a cat a la from cats, but it's not the butthole cut, clearly. I mean, I it's wish. hard to tell from this angle. Uh, yes, now, sure. our Garfield down below is eating another Pikachu, Marty. Oh my God! The Garfield's finally getting his revenge after all these years of laying in wait. And now in the top right, we've got a cool bear. Uh, <laughs> How do you he know hangs he's out cool? With cool Fry? Oh, okay. he's got sunglasses, Marty. Okay, okay. He's just got the look about him of a dude with some tood. <laughs> Does that mean he's rude? Uh, you know, uh, not to his parents. All right. And does he like food? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Tremendous. Uh, God, so much has happened on this canvas. I'm, I still feel like I'm catching up on what's happening. Uh, oh, I don't know when this happened, but C-3PO is saying, quote, Sith stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It's Rise of the Skywalker happening in the lower right-hand corner of this canvas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a wonderful plot point that was. Yes. Yes, the the this the, never mind. Oh, for two this, had to, yeah. yeah, it was bad. That's how they came up with the Sith. They were just like this. No, wait, but backwards. <laughs> and that really cool bear. Oh, it's not just any bear. It's Daddy. It sure is, Marty. He's still a dude with some <laughs> tooth, though, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, he's he's a mean daddy. That bear is a bear. <laughs> You betting You okay there, Marty? I'm all right. I'm all right. Did I break you with that one? You broke me a little bit. All right. Oh. And uh, Alex, uh, you just, before I misquote it, you want to just tell me what reference you're making? Well, you asked for more One Piece references, and here you go. This is Tony Tony Chopper, who is voiced in Japan by the same voice actress as Pikachu. So... There's a there's a, a thread you can make there. Right, and yes, great. that does that does roll back into your topic of defective Pikachu with the final seconds ticking by. We're going to post that straw poll in the chat the next few moments. Two, one. And there we go. That's the end Caps of this. Caps on markers. The end of this, your main event here. Vote away. The two drink Alex pull out the victory. A world titanium continue her winning ways. We'll find out in the next few moments, folks. Whew. 
What a crazy, wow. crazy, crazy show this has been. That is wild. That was so wild. I mean, and, and this canvas really came together in the same way that a bathroom stall wall comes together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it just built and built and built. Uh, as time's ticking by, we've got uh, about a minute and a half until the voting's done. So I want to very quickly check in with both artists. To drink, Alex, anything you would like to plug, sir? Yes, I would like to plug the One Piece podcast, which I appear on every single week. Uh, episodes usually come out on Mondays. If you like One Piece, then you'll or The Simpsons because we make a ton of Simpsons references. You'll love it. Um, I'm also uh, I also do a Japanese film podcast, which is now every week called Toho Yaro. Uh, the latest episode that we did is Battles Without Honor and Humanity, a movie that you can watch now on Amazon Prime. So please check that out. There we go, and Titanium. If you want to hold back the growls, you can. Anything you'd like to plug? Yes, uh, just for the sake of clarity, I'll speak in a human voice for now. Uh, you can find me on socials at The Durian Prince. If you would like to tip me and read my comics and see my body of illustration work, including death metal t-shirts, uh, you can check it out at MargaretHuey.com, uh, just as it's spelled phonetically. Uh, and... Remember how last bird fight I asked everybody to buy a roll of stamps from the U.S. Postal Service? Do that if you have it. All or right. Do it at the time if you have. There we go. Great, great plugs there from uh, Titanium. I see Ross is throwing them on the chat. Don't forget uh, Alex's uh, podcast, Toho Yaro, and of course the One Piece podcast. Throw those links in there, Rossifer, as the last few seconds tick by, and we will find out who the winner of your main event is. Heck of a contest, heck of a show. Again, we thank everybody for joining us here. And the question is who the victor is. Do we have a winner? Well, let's post that link one more time as I've just been informed. It's a tie. Yeah, Go so to vote. Need a again, couple more votes folks. here, gang. Go to We're vote again. Keep it open for another, another 30 seconds while you guys uh, give us a final vote. It's still anyone's game here. Wow, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I don't, this is a first for us, right? Yeah, yeah, Having it is. literally be tied? Yeah, uh, I, I don't recall us having an actual tie before. Uh, I guess what I will do just to fill up time is plug my own stuff. Uh, I could be found on Twitter at Blast Zero Rama. That's Blast Zero Rama. Uh, my website is blast-o-rama.com, blastorama.com. And I'm the co-host of the Rough House podcast, a weekly look at the world of professional wrestling. Please check it out. But of course, please join me and the Super Art Fight team uh, every single Thursday for Super Art Fantasy. And of course, every Saturday for Neo Programming right here. And it looks like we have a victor, folks. We have a winner. So we're going to announce it in just a moment. Oh, to drink Alex takes the victory here a big win taking the victory from Ditanium. wow big win for two drink alex two drink alex anything you would like to say <laughs> anyway uh two drink alex you want to run that back yes i will say it one more time hot dog we have a wiener Where's my elephant? Um, and I want to give a wonderful uh, round of applause, of course, to Titanium, my wonderful, uh, superb uh, opponent. And uh, I can't wait to do this again with you. Cheers. Well said. All the same, back to you. I've been looking forward to this bout for ages and it did not disappoint. Well met. Well, on that note, I think it's a great time to wrap up the show before anything else gets set on fire. Um, I want to say again, yeah, let's big... just, yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, man. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to say a, a big thank you uh, to uh, all of the artists who participated in tonight's show. Red Aaron, Rave Royale, Vivian Shamwood, Baron Von Sexyville, Two Drink Alex, Titanium. A big thank you. Uh, to all of our partners and spouses and housemates and that sort of thing for allowing us to do uh, these streams and being okay with us yelling on the internet. Uh, a big thank you to producer Steve in the booth. He's had a harder night than usual, but he kept us going. 
bless him very, very much. And thank you to everyone in the chat, people who have donated, subscribed. Uh, thank you to my mother-in-law for some of the most awkward humor this has had so far. Thanks, big, Donna. Thank you to yeah. my dear pal, Ross Nover. Love you so much, buddy. Uh, until next time, for all of Super Art Fight, I've been Marty Day. Now get the hell off the internet. Have a great night. Bye.